For the last example in this subsection, we will be creating a map that combines a thematic layer using data from the aggregate model with an event layer using data from individual events. We will display the number of cases per 10,000 population and the total number of malaria cases by district on the map. Let's open the Maps app by finding it in the Apps menu. First, start off by selecting the base map, Bing Road. Next, we want to add the thematic layer which will give us the malaria incidence per 10,000 population. You should be familiar with using thematic maps from the Fundamentals course. Click on Add Layer and select Thematic as the option. In the Data tab, select the item type Indicator the indicator group, Malaria, and the indicator, Malaria Case Incidents per 10,000. In the Periods tab, for the period, choose 6 monthly. And use the arrows to navigate to the year 2019. Then select the period July to December of 2019. In the Org Units tab, ensure Training Land is selected in the hierarchy and use the Select Levels option to add the district level. Then click Add Layer to add the thematic layer to the map. The next layer we want to add is the event layer. Click on Add Layer and select Event as the option. Under the Data tab, select the Program and Program Stage, Malaria Case Management and the coordinate field as the event location. In the period tab, use the start and end date fields. For the start date, enter July 1st of 2019, and for the end date, December 31st of 2019. In the org units tab, ensure training land is selected. Then click on Add Layer to add this event layer to the map. In this example, we are combining the location-based data of each malaria case with the overall incidence in each district and reviewing the correlation between the two. When population is taken into account, the number of cases within the district alone is not enough to define the malaria burden, as some districts with the least cases have a higher incidence than those districts with the most cases. You can observe this in Fish District. There are a lot of cases, but the incidence is low. This must mean that there is a large population in this district. You can compare this with Sweet District, in which cases seem less, but incidence is higher due to a lower population. We hope you found the demonstration on how to jointly analyze event and aggregate data useful. Let's just highlight what we learned in this subsection. We reviewed the concept of program indicators and how these can be viewed in routine analysis apps. 
we learned about the concept of combined indicators and how these can also be viewed in routine analysis apps. And we demonstrated how to jointly create event and aggregate data outputs in pivot tables, charts, and maps. We hope you have been following along with the step-by-step -step activities listed under the videos. But if you haven't, please refer to them for extra practice to help ensure the understanding of the information presented on the joint analysis of aggregate and event data. Also, use the discussion forum to ask questions to other learners or facilitators. Please attempt the final activity that will allow you to recreate the map we have just demonstrated. Once you have completed all of the activities for this subsection and are comfortable with the material, please attempt the graded assignment.